Good morning, guys, and welcome to the Monday Morning Sidewalk. It's Monday, November 3rd, and welcome to wherever we are this morning. I hope you arrive safely. Um, we have changes in the weather coming right now as I speak, and so along with the uh, time change this past weekend comes a change in the weather. We're definitely into the fall scene now. And what that means here for us landlocked people here in north and central Texas is that uh, we shift our focus from warm water pursuits to cold water pursuits here in North Texas DFW area and along the state line with Oklahoma. We'll be going to Oklahoma to fly fish for uh, trout in the, at the Blue River and also in uh, Broken Bow, Beaver's Bend. I call it the Bend Bow, as you've heard before. We've got a bunch of rain coming here in the next couple of days, so that's going to change things, obviously. Um, you can just pretty much say goodbye to the warm weather stuff here in fresh water in North Texas. Um, the only other thing going on besides that, I'm just cutting right to the chase, the only other thing going on that would be, I guess, classified warm water in lakes is smallmouth bass at Texoma and uh, striper action, which is cold water striper action on Texoma also. Um, I'm going to, as soon as I have a serious amount of time and maybe a little technology behind me, pursue some smallmouth bass and I'm pretty sure where they are on Lake Ray Roberts where somebody has taken the time to uh, stash a few away. So we'll see about that. I've been thinking about that for years and, and kind of nibbling around the edges of that for years and we'll see how that turns out. Of course, if you're uh, also changing the cold water pursuits and you're in the middle of the state, you're thinking Guadalupe River. Uh, this is when the stocking program gets unleashed on Texas by Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. That program is really intended for kids to get out and fish, but in a couple of places, or really just one place, um, it has a good effect on uh, adult fly fishers, and that is the Guadalupe River as TPWD combines with the uh, Guadalupe River Trout Unlimited to stock a lot of rainbow trout um, from the below the dam on down from there. Last weekend we were in San Angelo. Um, my wife was doing a uh, art show. Her company is Cimarona. Uh, we were doing an art show at the, the uh, Chicken Farm Art Center there. Really a great place. I'll show you a piece of artwork later on. A, a piece of uh, pottery that we got there that I think encapsulates kind of my life. It puts it in a nutshell basically as far as what's going on with me right now and uh, I don't, when uh, I'm not fly fishing. So anyway, that's that. If you get a chance, look through the website for, you might look keywords of uh, San Angelo or Chicken Farm Arts Center or um, the Concho River. I didn't get a chance to fish this time, so you're going to have to look back and look at old stories for that. Uh, being this is the first Monday in November, it's really time to uh, mention the fact that you know, there's a tradition here at Texas Flycaster, and that is the Black Friday fly fishing tradition. Sometimes it's black on blue, which is, uh, or blue on black, which is uh, the Blue River on Black Friday. Uh, but this year, it looks like it's going to be the uh, Galveston area for the Flounder Run. Hopefully, that'll turn on. You know, there's a really a, a series of things that have to go right with the, to get the Flounder uh, running like they have um, in past years, and that didn't happen last year, as far as I know. Nobody's told me that we had that serious solid run. It was because the weather and uh, water air temperatures do not cooperate with the, the actual timing of the flounder run. Uh, what else do we have here? Um, there's going to be a schedule coming out from TPWD on where they put all these rainbow trout throughout the state and as I said they're in ponds and neighborhood ponds and all kinds of strange places across the state and that's really to give you guys a chance you know, guys, girls, whatever, chance to take your kids out and have them catch these rainbow trout. This is not a game situation or anything like that. This is more of a power bait on a spinning rod kind of thing where um, that'll be your best way of having good luck and it will uh, get kids turned on to the whole sport and hopefully they'll, they'll grow up to be fly fishing people. So we'll see how that goes. Um, that should be out in the middle of the month. I, uh, I'm looking through my notes here. There's not a whole lot left, you know. Um, we're going to try and, and get back to normal uh, routine of 
of a Monday morning video, but you know we'll forego that if that means getting out and going fishing and shooting video from someplace like uh, Beaver's Bend or the Blue River. That'll always take precedent over a Monday morning video. So that's how we kind of tend to delegate our time. So just take kick back for a second. I'm, I'm going to show you a piece of artwork that I got. It's from the uh, a Roger Allen Studio. It's it's called the uh, Star Keeper series. And let me just get a get one of those pieces and I'll show it to you. It's really cool. And as always, thanks. Of course, goes out to my uh, my people who sponsor me and who I have uh, uh, actually endorsed, such as Tailwater Fly Fishing Dallas. We've got also the folks at Lampson and Hatch Reels and TFO Fly Rods. So there's others. You know, I don't mention everybody every week, but definitely you guys know who you are, and I appreciate you guys uh, showing faith in the product we have here at Texas Flycaster. And let me just show you that piece of artwork real quick. Hey guys, this may not be a fly fishing tip, but I do want to show you artwork from time to time just because that's kind of how I roll. This is a piece by Roger Allen. He's at the, he's actually at a, the Chicken Farm Arts Center in San Angelo. He's got his own Star Keeper series and Star Keeper gallery there. And this kind of sums up what I'm up to in a nutshell right here. If you take a look at this, we've got, we've got the stars, of course, right here. And then, of course, the oil fields at night. So that's kind of how it looks from my perspective. And, and, uh, I really love the colors and the artwork that Roger produces there. He's been there for 40 plus years. So if you haven't been out to San Angelo and taking a road trip, you should take a weekend and get out there because this work and, and a couple of the other galleries and a couple of the other artists, it's really a, a fantastic place to visit. Thanks for watching. Have a great week.